just wondering when Nike are going to start to sponsor us. I know, for real, for real. I need some new socks. Dream big. <laughs> I need some so, new socks. Yeah. I really want... No, I love, I love these shoes. Shout out, Steph Patchy, hashtag United. Secret Santa present. Have you ever seen a better Secret Santa present than these crepes? I don't think you have. Thanks, mate. Love them. Good I do need crepe protect on them, though. I think I should sit further away from the camera so you look bigger. Is this a bad time to tell you that I really need a toilet? Yeah, I'm really bad. <laughs> Welcome back to Footy Consultancy. Anyone who follows our Instagram, well first if you don't follow our Instagram, go follow our Instagram, we'll put it up here. But anyone who does follow our Instagram would have seen that earlier in the week we asked you for questions to put to an Ultimate Goal star, all because Ultimate Goal is re-recruiting. So we tried to get Georgia Stevens, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, she was unavailable. Oh my god, she's gonna love that. <laughs> so oh, we're yeah. joined by Ellie Paris, who was the star of Ulma Gold season one. Oh. And we're gonna put your questions to her so you get all of the behind the scenes info, all of the top tips on applying, and we'll also put a link to the applications in the description for this video. So check that out, get applying, but not before. You've got all the tips right here. Hopefully, I'll do my best, guys. I'll do my best. You'll do your best. Well, I, while I get the questions up, Ellie, yeah. do you want to just give a quick overview of what Ultimate Goal is and was and is all about? Yeah, so Ultimate Goal is this new reality series where they look for the next female football star. Um, so someone who maybe hasn't played at the top level, hasn't had the opportunity that they maybe deserve, um, they can apply for the show and basically it, it entails two weeks of training and playing as professional footballers with uh, top coaches, masterclasses from amazing footballers from across the globe, um, and just an unbelievable experience really, and the chance to, to get scouted for, for top, top teams. So yeah, best experience of my life, would highly recommend it. And if you're thinking about applying, just do it. You've got nothing to lose. But yeah, hopefully I can answer some of your questions. That leads us nicely onto our first question, which is, I'm considering applying, but I'm not sure I'm at the right level. How will I know? Um, I don't think anyone really knows if they're at the right level or not. Like I said, you have nothing to lose if you apply for it. They'll look at your application and they'll see if you're maybe someone that has a lot of potential and just needs a, a bit of a confidence boost. Um, and you never really know how good of a player you are until you're put into those high pressure situations. That was definitely the case for me. So I think just go for it, nothing to lose. See how far you can get. Okay, cool. Um, another question we got here is about game highlights. How do you make a highlight video? What should I put in it? Oh, okay. Now that's a difficult one for me to answer simply because um, before the show, I had never really had any of my games filmed. I think I only had one or two. And I do remember um, the production team asking if I did have any more footage. But I think as long as you've got at least one game worth of highlights, that's all right. Um, and if, if it's the case of you being kind of flary as a freestyler, you can do some tricks. I think as, as much as you can give them, as much footage as you can show them and, and information you can give them about yourselves, it only gives them a better idea of you as a player and a person. So, um, yeah, if, if you don't have time to maybe get more games filmed before you apply, just, just give them what you can, basically. Give them what you can. Okay, so would you suggest if maybe someone hasn't got any footage, should they maybe film themselves doing some training, doing some skills so they have something to provide? Yeah, definitely. I think I think one of the most important things for people to see is your technical ability. Um, because as long as you've got an all right touch, um, you know, you're scanning around, you can you can easily show that in, in a simple technical session that you, you can put on yourself. Um, so absolutely do that, get yourself training, set up some cones, show them your, your technical ability and I think as long as I can see that, um, <clears throat> it's, it's as much as you can give them. But again, I think what they most look for is technical and tactical awareness in the game, so how you impact the game. Mm -hmm. but yeah. Okay, great. Um, we've got a question here from someone who's obviously already been on the form, so we love to see that. 
they said on the form you can indicate two positions you play in but I play in more. Do you get to try out different positions whilst you're on the show or do they keep you in whatever you say? Yeah, so um, with the, the whole experience, we trained twice a day. So for before they cut us, um, we had at least a week. So at least five full days of training and playing. So there's so much opportunity for you to play in different positions. Um, like the, the morning sessions are sort of mainly focused on technical stuff and tactical stuff and then towards the afternoon we'd play more game based related things um, so yeah literally so much opportunity for you to showcase your your talent in those different positions um, and to be honest with you the coaches are such a high standard they'll probably recognize which um, position is best for you so don't worry too much about not being given the opportunity to play in your desired position because there'll definitely be enough moments for you to do that mm -hmm. okay um, so I watched all of the episodes, as you know. <laughs> big fan! <laughs> I was a big fan. Um, but we've got a question here, which is an interesting one. And it is, mm -hmm. did you receive any negativity from Breen on the, on the show? And if so, how do you deal with that? Negativity in what way? From, from people watching? People watching it. Um, or just general comments with regards to... <clears throat> so whilst the show was on, I did get um, quite a lot of comments and, and new followers. Um, I'm going to say 90% of them were positive and like really, really complimentary, which was lovely. But I did get a couple of comments, um, just just people being silly, really, just like, oh, you didn't do anything in the last game, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, that doesn't affect me because there's only so much that they showed. Like we were there for almost two weeks and there was only six episodes, 45 minutes each. Um, uh, and it's like the case in a lot of these reality shows where you don't see everything um, and I just I just didn't let the negative comments affect me at all because I knew I just went there did the best that I could and just stay true to myself mm -hmm. so as many negative comments come my way I don't think I'll let them affect me I'm, I'm fairly strong-minded as well but um, otherwise the rest of the comments were just people being complimentary and, and just being really supportive of the women's game which is so nice to see and I think for me, especially as a football coach, um, at the moment, I just want to inspire girls to get into football, really, so that's what I, that's what I care about, that's what's important to me. Definitely, and I think with anything you do now on social media, there's always going to be people who want to comment neg negatively, yeah. and it's how you deal with that, yeah. and like you say, uh, the response to the show season one was so overwhelmingly positive, and definitely one of my favourite bits came after the show when Ellie gifted one of her shirts to a young oh. viewer. And she now has it up in, on the wall in her room, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, little Lacey. Um, so, as I said, from, from when the, the first episode came out, my Instagram got a few more followers and I, I, I got a few people messaging me each week as the episodes came out. And Lacey was, was one of those people, if not probably um, the most regular and, and, and biggest supporter. Um, so I thought, you know what, she's... She's taken the time to like really watch the show, be inspired by it, and like tell me how much that I've inspired her. Um, and that's that. Like I said, that's all I want to do. And I thought I need to sort of give something back to her that will mean something. So <clears throat> at the end of the show, obviously we got to keep our kit. So we all had two um, two of the red ultimate goal shirts. One of them we got printed for the final game with our surname on which I've never had done before, which is a bit mental. Um, so obviously I treasure that, that shirt. I'm going to hopefully get that framed at some point. Um, but my other one was just in my wardrobe. I was like, do you know what? This could go to someone who actually really, really like cares about it and it would be much more value in her hands. So yeah, I wrote a little message to her saying, Look, I, hope, I hope this show's inspired you and I hope to see you in an English shirt one day. And I, and I sent it off to her. And, you know, it's, she's got it framed up in her bedroom, which is a bit mental for me, to be honest with you. But, um, you know, it's by the next generation. That's what um, what it's all about for me. So, yeah, what a, what a nice little touch. Yeah, I think it's amazing the power of the show, yourself as a role model, and the positions that you got put in as a player to be able to inspire, like you say, the next generation and connect with fans like that. So, I mean, that's absolutely brilliant. As we said previously, we're in the application stage now for Ultimate Goal. This wasn't a question we got in, but I have to ask. I've been stung by a wasp! Before that wasp gets you. 
before that wasps, gets you. Wasps, wasps, oh my god, wasps love me. <laughs> Honestly, that last episode, I can't cope. Anyway, oh hello mate. Um, pigeons, <laughs> mate, they're all coming, they all want the tips. They want to be on the oh my god. Sorry, sorry, where were we? <laughs> Go on. Um, we're in the application stage. Yeah. Could you give any top tips on how to make your application stand out? Um, I think just take your time with it. Make sure you really put all your heart and passion into it. Get yourself as, across as much as you can. Just just give them all of you, if you like. It's a lot easier for them to choose who's on the show if they know more about you. Mm-hmm. So just be yourself. Get your passion across with all your words and and your highlights and and things like that and I think just explain your story in in a lot of depth you know that's what they're looking for ultimate goal not only female footballers who want to get given the chance to be the next best player um, they care about your stories as well and they want to showcase them and and inspire people for different things so yeah that's all I can say just just make sure you're, you're completely real and yourself and they'll see that shine through Amazing. I think that's absolutely brilliant advice. Before we wrap it up there, I will say we obviously have Ellie here constantly on Footy Consultancy. Can't so me. We've tried. We have <laughs> really tried. Um, so if you do have any questions that haven't been answered in this video or you know what you didn't get a chance to send your question in before, let us know on Instagram. We can get Ellie doing a live. She's always on Instagram and can reply directly to your comments as well. I think like Ellie summed up there, it's such a brilliant opportunity, not only for yourself as a player, but to be a role model for the next generation as well um you know why wouldn't you take it why wouldn't you apply before we do wrap up Elle is there anything else you want to say about the experience I think it was just such uh, a life-changing experience for me in so many different ways like not only the footballing aspect but the girls that I met there they'd all had different upbringings and, and and sort of dealt with different hardships in their lives and it just really makes you realise that it's all about the people and the more people you learn about, the more you learn about in life. So, you know, I learned so much from the other girls and, and the different masterclasses and I think for those that have seen the, the series, I know Lauren, it, it did touch you a little bit, um, the, the blind football sessions honestly just made me so grateful for, for what I have and I'm still in the process of being involved with them to this day. So, yeah, just just go for it. It's honestly the best experience. You'll meet so many amazing people. And, I mean, even since the show, I think I've found a love for media, mm. if you like. Is, is that the right way to say yeah. it? Like, you know, me and Lauren obviously love doing this stuff now for you guys. And it's definitely sort of grown from, from being on the ultimate goal. But, um, yeah, I couldn't I could not say one thing bad about it. Honestly, it's changed my life for the better. 100%. So would you say what you set out to gain or what you expected to gain, you've gained almost completely different stuff as well? From yeah, that. definitely. I I went to Ultimate Goal thinking football, football, football. Mm-hmm. And it's so much more than that. Mm-hmm. It's about life, people, experiencing new things and, and just learning and being grateful for what you have. So, yeah, definitely do it. You will grow in confidence a million times over. Um, I feel like I have. Not that I needed any more confidence. <laughs> Honestly, um, but yeah, really recommend it and just apply, go for it, and let us know how your applications are going, guys. I'd love to support you if you get far. Yeah, definitely. Like, like I said, get on Instagram. You can interact on the comments of this video, ask more questions, ask for advice, share your stories. You know, we want to hear from you. And I think the real nice thing you just said there, Al, is there were so many women and girls from different walks of life. There really is no type to apply there's no type to get it yeah. it's, it's for anyone who wants to chase that ultimate yeah. goal of being a footballer yeah. really yeah and also remember what makes you different makes you special never forget that that's another thing i learned there you go so yeah that's got to be the closing sentence for <laughs> so no i thank love you. it thank you for your time ellie on this and welcome. good luck to anyone who is applying and hopefully we'll see you in the yeah. new season awesome last one guys good luck <laughs>